some young people have started from zero without any continuity in their culture. But I would say we do not have any continuity back to the great cinema of the 20s and, and early 30s, but uh, still we have one common thing with them. At that time we had legitimate German cinema and this is legitimate again. One of the most remarkable is Werner Herzog. An outsider among outsiders, Herzog is constantly looking for a country which does not exist. Filmmaking for me is also a, a physical work and I do a lot of things myself, like when I shoot in a room like this I would move around the, the table or the heavy things and, and work in the room until I, I get a perfect feeling for the space itself. And this is a physical experience which hardly can de be described. And this is an aspect of the vitality of filmmaking here in Germany. I think if you do not have this, this vital feeling for, for people, for space, for objects in your film, you, you won't be able to make good films. Cinema itself resists somehow uh, people who just approach it with their brains. You are a scientist and want to find out about some sort of um, in a structure of, of a matter, you will put it under extreme pressure, under extreme circumstances like radiation, heat, pressure, and, and you will find out the very nature of, of this matter much better. And uh, people under extreme pressure, under extreme circumstances, give you much more insight about what we are. People who are deaf and blind at the same time, who only can communicate by a tactile language, give us much more insight about our very innermost being uh, and about communication better than, than any uh, thesis or, or theoretical essay on, on, on communication. I do see things at the horizon and I can articulate it, therefore I put it in the films. And I'm sick of, of the kind of images that surround us, just go through a magazine and look at the posters in, in travel agencies or look at our postcards and you'll see that it's a waste, it's worn out images. I look at TV uh, serials like Bonanza or Daktari and, and you sh can see that it's worn out images. I just filmed, let's say, a, a, a rye field in the wind or, or some trees and it is trees as you have never seen them before. It does not make the difference where you go. It is a way to see it, a, a new perspective. Certainly I'm, I'm looking for new images and at the same time for a new way to discover what we are, a, a human aspect.